welcome back to Ready for Brazil. Today we're going to talk about clothes, pronounced in Portuguese as roupa. Remember the R is like an H sound, so it's not an actual R sound like in English. So let's get to it. So I'm going to start at the top and work our way down. So for example, first we have something like this. Bonnet, it's a ball cap, like a baseball hat. Bonnet, bonnet. Or you can have something like this, chapeau, which is an actual uh, hat, like a fedora type of hat, more formal kind of hat, right? So, as so we continue, you can have a camiseta, which is a t-shirt, a camisa, which is pretty much everything but a t-shirt, right? Like a long sleeve shirt, a dress shirt, business kind of shirt, that kind of thing. Okay. Probably said there's a t-shirt. Okay. So then you can have a jaqueta, which would be a jacket. Right? Sounds like it. Makes sense. You could have a terno, which is a suit. Like your businessman suit. Okay. You can have a vestido, which is a woman's dress. So also some accessories, right? You may think of so you can have a corbata, which is a tie, a cinto, which is a belt, right? So fairly simple. Keep it going here. We have bermudas, right? So that would be shorts. I've also seen people actually just say shorts, right? So it's not a problem. Not a problem at all. You have calces, which are pants, jeans, which are jeans. You also may hear someone say calces jeans, which would just be jeans as well, right? So for other types of clothes, we can have a casaco, which is a, a coat, like a larger coat, like a winter coat. You can have a blazer, which is the same thing, right? It's a blazer for like a nice little jacket. Okay, so <clears throat> women's clothes, you know, we talked about vestido, right? So you can have a blusa, which is like a woman's top, right? So it's not really a t shirt, not really a shirt, it's a, it's a blouse, right? And I, I think that's how you spell blouse in English. I don't think I've ever used that word or written that word down before. Um, what else do we have? Okay, we have saya, right, which is a skirt. Okay, so that's more or less, more or less it. Um, colleci, should be like a like a vest, like a woman's. I guess even for men, like a shirt that doesn't really have any sleeves, it stops at the shoulder, right? Okay, so we've got footwear now. So we have, let's start with mayas, right? So socks. Sapatos. Shoes in general, right? You have ch chinelo, which is a flip flop, which are pretty much what everybody wears. <laughs> Brazil, Brazil is extremely hot, so you gotta wear flip flops. Okay, you have botas, right? Boots, so that's more or less. Um, sort of external wear, I guess you can say. So let's get to underwear and those kinds of things. So a bra would be suchia, cuecas would be underwear, calcinas would be like woman's underwear, right?
Then you have, you know, something like this, a sungra. A sungra is a male bathing suit. We would probably call it in the United States a speedo. So a male speedo, right? So they do have a little bit different uh, you know, dressing styles than we do. Um, I think that's more or less it. In terms of clothing, I mean, there's always going to be something that I'm not going to write down just because it's something obscure, right? But I think that's more or less it. And then you can you may have like a bolsa, right? A bag, a bolsa, like a like a woman's purse, woman's bag, that kind of thing. Um, bikini, right? Right. So bikini, obviously. I think that's more or less it. So if you if you have these words and combine them with the words that we learned a couple lessons ago with colors. And you can say like, you know, chaqueta azul, blue blue jacket, right? Terno preto, black, black suit, that kind of thing, right? Um, so actually one more thing I noticed that I want to point out. Um, so I mentioned, what was it? Tsunga, right? So it's male speedo. So in most places, um, at least traditionally, Sunga is what a man, male will wear. So typically in like a public pool, or public bathing area, male might be required to wear a sunga. Now, it's sometimes embarrassing. The first time I ever wore a sunga, I'm like, what am I doing here? I'm wearing like a Speedo, you know, and it's just kind of awkward to begin with. Um, then again, like private pools or, you know, for example, in a condominium, if you have a pool there, you know, you can probably just wear, you know, um, regular swimming trunks that you have in the United States or whatever, right? So it's kind of funny, sunga, so definitely a culture shock. So next, um, we're going to go to the next slide and do some examples. So these two people here are very famous in Brazil. So I'll write here, this is Gilma and this is Lula, right? So they are the most recent presidents of Brazil. So Gilma is current president. She just won re-election in 2014. And Lula is her predecessor who had two terms. Lula was extremely popular. Um, I know at one point he was, he was, you know, in Time Magazine, like most influential people. He was, you know, such an out, just incredibly popular politician um, about five years ago. I, his approval rate at one point was probably like 80%. It was just fantastic. Um, but very popular person in South America. Um, just one side note, culture note. Um, they both are from the same political party. The political party is PT. Partido de Falhador. Probably go there. Yeah. So the Workers Party, right? Workers Party. So um, currently they do not have a great approval rating. So Joma is extremely, extremely, you know, down in the polls in a certain ways. I mean, it was like less than 10% at one point. Um, and a lot of that had to do with, you know, the World Cup, the stadiums and those kind of things that they were taking money away from education and so forth. So this is, you know, viewed as a leftist government, um, but right now um, very few people support them at all. So anyway, before I digress and talk about politics, that's for another lesson. Someone explained it to who these two people are. So what can we say here? So Joma está usando usando a blusa vermelha. So the verb to wear clothing, there's actually two of them you can use, right? So there is usar, which means to use. There's vestir, right? To be honest, usar is more common than vestir. To wear or to, to dress, right? So I'll give examples of both. The gentleman está usando una blusa vermelha. She has a or a jacket. Eh, I call that a blouse. I don't know anything about women's clothes. And then Lula, I'll use this. Um, Está, well, hold on, I'll do this first. Está usando uma camisa vermelha. Também. Também is also. Right? So, in most cases, like I said, you will hear usar being used. Vestir, it is 
often um, use really just when you're talking about actually getting dressed, not actually what you're wearing, but you're getting dressed. So let's say um, someone is getting dressed. Ellie está se vestindo. I-N-D-O, we've learned that, right? So Ellie está se vestindo. Or trocando, or changing, right? So there's a couple different words. Just use use our. But I want to explain to you that vestindo comes with this little thing in front of it. Se, s s e. That is a called a reflexive pronoun, right? Reflexive verb. The vestindo. So he is dressing himself, right? Talking about me. Eu estou me vestindo, right? It's a little a little ahead of us for now. I want to point that out, um, but really just use these are because that's fine. So let me give you some more examples with that. We will definitely cover um, some reflexive verbs later, much later. Um, so I will erase this, this here. Let's just use use are. Okay. So let's do a question. Rua está Usando qual cor de calças, right? Lula está usando qual cor de calças. Lula is using which color of pants? A pant, right? Looks white to me, so. Lula está usando calças brancas. House brown. Okay. So let's do one more Jonah. Okay. It's fairly easy to use. I mean, I, I, I never want to just give you verbs and then have you memorize them and use them. I want to give you some examples, but simultaneously, I also just don't want to spit out verbs, spit out verbs, and conjugate them for you and do all that, you know? So I try to give you examples to put you on the right track, and then in your free time when you want to. You can brush up on it. You know, use use Google Translate. Use our PDF documents. I'm I'm, I'm ready for Brazil. Um, Word reference that comes great resource also. So I wanted I want to teach you you know how to conjugate verbs, but not all of them because that's just redundant. Because like like we saw in a previous lesson, there are sort of patterns to follow for conjugating AR verbs, IR verbs, ER verbs. So I never want to give you you know just a list of verbs to conjugate because you can do that by yourself. I want to give you words that are verbs that are meaningful, that are very common, and then I want to give you examples so you know how to use them. Okay, so let's use one more. Dioma um, tem calças. Good. Dioma has black pants, right? That's it. So, pretty simple, and I don't, I'm not sure this is. He looks familiar, but I can't. Put my finger on it. So we'll just say he, Eli, Tane, Uma, Camisa. It looks like it's orange or blue. Laranja e azul. He has a shirt about orange and blue. All right? Fairly simple. So I hope you learned something about clothes because, um, you know, like I said, Brazilians do have a little bit different of a fashion sense. Um, not that it's better or worse, I'm just saying they do. Um, so when you get down there, definitely need to um, accustom to that. One, one other thing I'll notice is I don't have a picture of it right now, but it's very easy when you're in Brazil to tell somebody's Brazilian or a foreigner. Because there's this custom among Brazilians, men and women, to have really tight jeans that end at like the sock, the sock level, and then you have like a really expensive pair of like Nike shoes, right? So That'd be tennis, tennis, right? That would be like a, a sneaker. So that is definitely something uh, to, to to look look at in Brazil because you will definitely see that people have these really tight jeans, yet they have like these these just big expensive shoes simultaneously. And you're like, wow, that does not look like something someone will have in America. It's very obvious to note that that person is not American, but of course they shouldn't be because they're in Brazil, right? So anyway, have a good one, guys. Take care.